Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, it was a bit of a shorter episode for you guys, a very long-ended one for me. And I needed a bit of a break, and I decided I would take the weekend off. Fun fact, spoiler alert, I didn't do that. <laughs> um, it is still middle of the weekend, and I've already done a bunch. So, right off the bat... Our cooking is now level 73, almost level 74. Um, our pharmacy skill has gone up to level 27 from, I think, 18 before? And I don't think you'll see a lot else different. Um, I guess technically my level went up by one. I had to kill, like, two monsters or something. So I think four, technically. I had to kill, like, four monsters, so I had, you know, just a tiny bit more XP, so they were just enough. Now, to explain how I did this, Chocolate cake is a good money maker. Um, I'm at over, hmm, I'm at over 800k right now. Uh, chocolate cake gets you a lot of money. So if you buy all the ingredients, to make chocolate cake, make chocolate cake, sell chocolate cake, you come out at net profit. In addition to that, if you buy eggs and milk, you can make an omelet, which recovers 15 RP each. Not a single day has passed. I am a few hours ahead, and I have made. I want to say I've made something like 150 chocolate cakes, along with dozens of omelets. I had to blend a bunch of uh, milk to make butter, so that's how I got the XP. As far as the pharmacy goes, I made round-offs and then started making cold medicine, which I'll show how to make the cold medicine and the round-off. Both of those are both ingredients that you can just buy, except for cold medicine you need a leak, which I... Also, I guess technically got more communication skill. I think I leveled up once or twice with that. Getting leaks. So, yeah, neat start. So, unfortunately, class is already done for the day, apparently. Everyone's gone home. He's just standing there because it's not 3 p.m. yet, which is lame. Oh, well. Uh, so, for now, I guess I will work on making a few things. I guess the first thing we can do should have the recipe right down here somewhere. Here we go. The level 71 recipe, Fried Lover Snapper. I wonder why I'm making this. There we go. And now, over here at the knife set, we're gonna do the exact same thing for the level 66 recipe, the Lover Sashimi. And we actually need to make another Fried Lover Snapper. Fried Lover Snapper. All right, over at the mixer, we're gonna take a golden pumpkin, a golden potato, a golden cabbage, a golden turnip, and an emery flower for the level 66 recipe. For the level 66 recipe, gold juice. And now, the fried lover snapper. Lover snapper, salted then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier it'll be when it's cooked. Lover sashimi, slices of raw lover snapper. Unlike other sashimi, this is eaten without any soy sauce or wasabi. Gold juice, a blend of golden things found across the world. To be honest, not very pleasant to drink. 73,600. Definitely worth selling, though. Alright, and that's those three things. Her, where are you? What? Is it a meal time? What's going on? There you are. It's not a proper day to Kokyo did it without a fried lover snapper. I'm counting on you. Oh, Aria, just what I expect out of you. Here's to you never falling short of my expectations. Also, here's money for his, here's some money for the trouble. You got 15,000 G. That was way too much work to get to this point. But we took care of it. Thank you, you've done well. Why do you see so upset? Is pure friendship between a boy and girl truly possible? I'm in no position to ask this question, however, because I don't know the answer myself. Interesting. I don't know why everyone keeps bringing up my dad as if I haven't spoken to them multiple times. I guess this is just the new greeting. Good afternoon. Yeah, for instance. This aroma is filled with the... This room is filled with the aroma of mint during this season. I love to come home. 
I love to come in here and take a deep breath when I'm feeling frustrated or irritated. It's so calming. Try it. Now at the pharmacy station, we're going to take a medicinal herb, a purple grass, and a blue grass all together to make the level 26 recipe round off. That was how I was actually grinding before, and now that I'm higher level, it's not really worth doing. So instead, I'm making cold medicine, which I have a 55% chance of doing. One green grass, one orange grass, one red grass, and finally, a leek. All together, to make cold medicine. I have it, I might as well make them. While I'm thinking about it, I have two red grass, so I'm going to make some heavy spice. It is a level 10 recipe, and I haven't shipped it, so might as well. Alright, round off. Medicine that cures sealed status. That's a plus, it also heals 30 HP. Heavy spice. Spice is made from spicy leaves. Eat it raw, and you'll be, br you'll be spewing fire before you know it. Catch a cold, and you'll need to act fast. Use the power of science to fight all illnesses. Now at the pharmacy station, we're going to take an orange and yellow grass to make sour drop. Now down at the chem station, we're going to take a charm blue, a toy herb, a pink cat, and a moon drop to make the level 10 recipe mixed herbs. Now over the knife set, we're going to take this fall flounder to make the level 56 recipe fall sashimi. Mixed herbs. A mixture of many herbs taken from the wild. Has a wonderful aroma. Sour drop. Spice made from sour leaves. Super sour, but puts you in a refreshed mood. Fall sashimi. Sashimi cut from raw fall flounder. Its outer edge is said to help maintain beauty and youthful looks. Level 10. I didn't realize it was that good. And that, at this point puts us up to 80% of all cooked dishes. We're doing pretty good. We're nearing the end of the ship list. 54% of medicine. Nice. Weirdly enough, I haven't marked that I haven't shipped this yet, so okay. Sweet powder. Skill level increase. Perfect timing. Alright, sweet powder. Spice made from sweet leaves, like a big sweet pot of honey. I'm not sure what category that would have went in, so yeah, it would have been here. Yep, I've literally only shipped one. Sour Drop is something I had shipped, I just didn't have it marked down. Okay, cool. And... Right, uh, mixed herbs were a higher level, that's why they're worth more. I was like, that doesn't match up. Got it. Makes sense. Okay. Neat. Hey, Arya! Hey, Dad! I may have built the school, but it's thanks to you that it's grown like it has, Arya. Howdy, kiddo. Hey there, Arya. You look lively today! Alright, let's do one more quest today. We have two choices. Rosalind's, which... I don't think we can do. Or we could start rematching. That is a bad idea. I kind of want to do it. We'll do it later this episode, probably. I'm going to double check what Rosalind met needed, and then... Yeah, give me just a second. Okay, I can't do Rosalind's currently because I don't have honey. I Once I can do that, I can make her that. So, no more request for today. Um, I'm actually going to skip to tomorrow, because tomorrow is an important day, and I guess hope for honey to be available via my hornet. So give me just a second. Alright. Let's go shopping! For an Ogwar Marine brooch. I could make this. I don't really feel like it. There. One bird wing. 
Miss Cecilia, for you. Thank you. Thanks for the Aquamarine Bro. Today is my birthday, you know. I'm very much aware you'd only tell me this if I gave you your favorite gift, which is weird. And that puts Cecilia at two. Alright, over at the accessory crafting station, we're going to take this feathered cap I have and a bird wing. For the level 57 recipe at 37% chance, can we do it? Yes, we can. We are so close to level 51 now. Alright, we're going to take our courage badge and two scrap iron to upgrade our courage badge. Skillable increase. We only had a 50 50 shot there. And we did it again. So that makes this a level 9 courage badge now, which, yeah, it's just a bit better. It's nice. Put that back on. Okay. Sparkle string. Glittery string. Not very strong, but often used for clothing. Green grass. Regular green grass. Working hard to achieve individuality after being called plain for so long. Purple grass. Top quality grass. Very proud to only grow in top quality soil. Spinach. Dark green and highly nutritious. Tin spinach has also been known to provide super strength. Pumpkin. A popular type of squash. Can be transformed into a spooky lantern when hollowed out. Charm Blue, a dark blue flower. Its large petals and striking color could mesmerize one forever. Little Crystal, runes crystallized over many years. Very rare and valuable. Platinum, a metal ore used to make weapons and accessories. Very rare and hard to obtain. Silk Cloth, top quality cloth, smooth and relaxing to the touch. Oil, mainly used for when frying foods to prevent burning or sticking and to bring out flavor depth. Curry powder. Powder which forms the basis of curry, created from a blend of various spicy herbs. Flour. Powder made from wheat, a vital ingredient in a large number of dishes. Neutral agent. The best way to deal with poison in the fields totally neutralizes it. Fantastic. And that is all the things we're going to be shipping real quick. As far as the green and purple grass goes, I believe I have shipped those, but I had a bit of a, like, memory loss thing. Like, I lost my save file kind of deal, so because of that, I think I just never redid that when I replayed up to that point. Unless I'm thinking of Rune Factory 1, and if that's the case, then... I don't know, it's, it's been a while, I took way too long to get back to this. So I'm gonna mark those all as shipped real quick, give me just a moment. Now, without any tools... We're going to put a turnip and a pink turnip together to make the level 13 recipe, pickle mix. I feel like I've made it before and I know I've shipped it before, but I can't remember if I shipped it because I just got it as a random gift or what. The problem with this is that this is used in many Rune Factory games and I make it in most of them and, you know. Alright, pom-pom grass has a white cotton ball-like flower, which takes to the air when the spring winds blow. Pickle mix. Mix of spring and winter turnip pickles. The white and crimson colors make a striking contrast. Cabbage. A well-balanced vegetable that tastes good raw, fried, or boiled. Eating this is a great after a big meal. Daikon radish. The radish's long, white cousin. Its accommodating taste allows it to be used in a multitude of ways. Turnip, a king among farm crops. Lovingly raised across the entire world to this very day. Alright. And now with this, we have shipped every single crop. That's 100% and 81% overall. 62%, 66%, 82%, 86%. The only things that we're slacking on are pharmacy and crafting. Or, I guess accessory it's called here, but, you know, crafting. Alright. That feels good. I'll need to double check what else I need to make for things, but we're definitely making progress. According to this, one of the ones I haven't shipped is actually a chub, which I think you just get right here. And I leveled up my fish and getting it. 
Nice. All right, Chubb, a fish with a single dark stripe on its body. Three beautiful lines appear during spawning. Heck yeah. And that puts me at 89% of all fish. Heck yeah. Now here in the frying pan, we're gonna combine one ketchup, one egg, one rice, and one milk together. And I feel like I made this already, but maybe not. I don't know, my brain's not 100% there. For the level 40 recipe, omelet rice. Nah, I don't think I've seen that sprite. So yeah, omelet rice is different. Chicken rice wrapped in an omelet. Ketchup can be used to write a message of love on the top. All right, shipped. All right, uh, all we have for today is elemental hammers. Let's start with the flame hammer. A flamer with a hammer with a fire attack. We we'll need a battle hammer. Next, begin striking the hammer with a fire crystal. It would probably help to also use magic powder. Use a hard horn for the handle and a cheap bandage for the grip. Finally, wrap the grip with a woolly fur ball. Next, I'll teach you how to make a sky hammer. Start with a battle hammer. Next, to begin striking the hammer with a wind crystal. A root will make a good handle. Reinforce the hammer by adding a bird wing. It should start to have a winged shape. For the grip, you'll need a fur. Finally, using a strong string, attach the grip. Where? Oh, there it is. The gravity hammer is an earth hammer. You'll need to start with a gigant hammer. Next, begin striking the hammer with an earth crystal. As you strike the hammer, also use fairy dust. You can forge a sturdy handle from a broken hill. You should also use a strong vine. Finally, wrap the handle with a hood. And I won't even ba I won't even bother with basic hammers, as we all know that's not gonna work. Now up here at the frying pan, we're gonna use one turnip and one small egg to make fried eggs. We could also just, you know, purchase these and sell them if you really cared about it. If you wanna complete your ship list, I wouldn't even bother wasting a turnip on this. Alright. Fried eggs, the definitive home-cooked egg dish. The taste changed on the amount of love applied when cooking. Alright, and that puts us at 83%. We're getting there. That means I have around 15 to 20, somewhere in that range, more. We are pretty close. I think most of those are actually fish that I haven't been able to actually catch yet because I'm dumb and keep forgetting to get them when they're in season. So, you know. Alright, um, I am... Give me just a... Okay, the next day that actually matters is the 15th. Because of that, I'm actually going to take this time and I'm going to cut ahead to that. I'm going to gather a bunch of materials, and we're going to have a bit of a crafting episode here, so give me a minute. Actually, before we do that, I want to keep true to my word. Give me just a minute. Alright, rematch on the Terror Tree. Come for another try, have ya? I don't have any left to give you, though. You're so strong you've already gone through them all. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's right. Apparently, Terra Tree has reappeared in Trieste Forest recently. Maybe you could try to take that on. I'm sure it'll be no trouble for you, Arya. Good luck out there. Okay, we're gonna try to take this thing on once again. What's this? I don't know if it's the same strength, or if it's... I'm not gonna lose. Or if it's somehow gotten a lot stronger. I'm gonna say it got stronger, just based on how much damage it just took.
stop that. Actually, keep doing that. Honestly? Oh. I mean, I'm definitely winning in terms of, you know, just raw damage output. Okay, a bit tougher, but completely manageable at my level with my equipment. I did it! Alright. You did it just what I expected from you, Arya. Here's your reward. You got 30,000 G. That is a lot for just taking on that boss. You become a living legend? It's an honor to know a fighter as skilled as yourself. Do you understand why your business doesn't do well? Maybe it's the fact that you hand off 30,000 G to children for beating up a tree. Oh well. Alright, I will cut away now. I'm going to cut a few days in the future and I'm going to just, you know, gather materials. So, I'll see you guys later. And we're back. It is not the day that I said. It's only the 13th, but I'm actually out of inventory space, so I need to ship a few items. So, the hammer piece. A piece of a broken hammer. Looks like it could be used for something. Devil horn. A horn from a demon. Packed with magical power. Devil blood. The lifeblood of a demon. An important medicinal ingredient. Quality fur. Warm, soft hide. Silky smooth, a dream to touch and stroke. Bull horn. A sharp and dangerous horn. Thick, flawless ones are worth a lot of money. And broken box. A broken down old box can't really be used for anything except for a few sturdy bits of wood. So... Yeah! I forgot. Fish fossil. The fossilized remains of an ancient fish. Certain collectors would do anything to get it. So... We'll just swap right over there. Okay. Yeah, uh, it has been a day, um, and I'm already level 70. That's a thing. I had to go and grind a bunch of ingredients and... Oops. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to run over and make something, so give me just... Actually, wait. In addition to that... We are currently 91% of the miscellaneous stuff. Fantastic. Hell yeah. Alright, so over at the crafting station, I'm going to take a pair of feather boots, which I actually bought from Tanya. One silver, one iron, one devil wood, one silk cloth, and one diamond. A 46%, that's actually better than I thought it would be. To make the night boots. Skill level increased. It is very unlikely I can do it at this point, but if I come all the way down here, we have a 10% chance of upgrading our night boots. So let's give it a shot. Two platinum. Finally, night boots. Success. Alright, that jumped us up from like I think around the mid or end point of the E, all the way up to the end of the V in level. Alright, another one. If you need platinum, you can either go mining for it, or you can, you know, shovel out the cash and just spend it. UA sells it, after all. It has been a very long time, but let's take a bath. Night boots, again, skill level increased. Up to a 19%, almost double. Success, skill level increased. Yeah, I'm up to level 55 now. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, um. The night boots. High quality boots worn by knights offers very high defense, enables the backstep ability, strength, and body up. So if I were to put this on. Uh, it's actually not as good as the Hachimaki. What? Is it because this is level 10 and this is only level 7? It's actually very old, it's not wild. Um, that seems weird that the Hachimaki of all things would be that good. Uh, 
I won't be equipping this, but I was just curious. I'm actually gonna go buy some more platinum. I know that's a waste of money, but also I'm at a million, so I'm fine. All right, we're gonna take a little crystal, silk cloth, a devil horn, a rage fang, a proof of warrior, and a sapphire. They attempt to make the proof of heroism, level 66. And we did it. Actually, I think that might be the thing that I ended up beating Rune Factory 1 with. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what my brain says. We are very close to what I want to be able to do. So, I just need to get us to, up to level 61 so I can start the grind. Over here at the chem station, we need to take a medicinal herb and yellow grass real quick to make ourselves a paragon. Alright, we're going to take an arrowhead, two magic crystals, a scorpion tail, an insect skin, and a strong string for the level 15 recipe, the magic ring. Alright, we're going to take an iron, a bronze, a paragon, a root, a plant stem, and a scorpion tail for the level 21 recipe, Paralyzed Ring. I have a 73% chance, and I failed five times in a row. Okay, at least I got in the sixth. Glad to see I spent all this money on uh, Platinum when I could've just kept failing forever. Okay, now... Level 71 recipe, Proof of Heroism Upgrade. This is only a 10% chance, so don't expect me to get this anytime soon. I think this failure will make me level up. Can I get a success instead? Nope. Ouch. Skill level increased. I now have a 19%. It's now a 1 out of 5. I can do this. Finally. That puts me out over halfway to level 62. Or 63, rub. Well, I just got myself a bunch of more monsters because I don't have any of the mid-sized, like, milk or wool or anything. And as such, I need to start getting that. I only need a few of them each, but some recipes require, like, mid-sized fleece and mid-sized yarn balls. Other things are just like, oh, hey, I need to ship them. So I decided just to grab at least one of each. A few of the uh, sheep, since they take a few days to produce each time, so... Yeah, just as heads up. Heck yeah, proof of heroism. Skill increased. There we go. I did twice in a row, cool. Skill increased. There we go. Skill increased again. Alright. I chose sleep. Alright. I used up all of my gold, and now I'm sitting at a 46% chance. So, the reasonable thing is to go around and get some gold and platinum and whatnot, but, you know, that'll be off screen. Alright. I'm gonna cut away here again. Actually, one thing before I do that. Hey, Av. Thank you for the mid sized wool. Medium Yarn Ball was created. Okay. Medium Yarn Ball. A regular sized ball of yarn can be made using the yarn maker. Fur. Rough coarse hide. Poor quality so only fetches a little price. Medium Fleece. Fleece from a wool can be used to make balls of yarn. Magic Ring. A ring brimming with magic power. Increases both magic attack and magic defense. Honey. Honey gathered for the queen bee. Its nutritional value along with natural sweetness make it a hit. Paralyzed Ring. A ring that increases resistance to paralysis. The ring itself is infused with medicine. And the Knight's Boots. High quality boots worn by knights. Offers very high defense, enables backstep ability. I'm gonna ship these seven items. Cool. Oh, before I leave. Crafting's up to 70% now. And miscellaneous is up to 
I am so close. Um, I just need a small yarn ball, which I can do. I am not going to do it at the moment. I'll do it in a couple days. Um... Now I'm actually going to stop for a bit and, you know, take a break. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Alright, now over at the accessory crafting, we're going to take a black grass, sparkle string, plant stem, root, spore, and poison powder to make the cursed ring. Now you might be asking yourself, why are we making this again? And the uh, answer should be obvious, but, you know, I can give you an explanation. We're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six cursed rings with a 10% chance to make the happy ring. Wow, I was not expecting that to work on the first try. Less experience than I was hoping, but still fine. Cursed ring, a ring that brings good fortune, raising all stats. Placing this on your finger will raise all your worries. Strength, intelligence, body up, poison seal, and paralysis resistance. This is pretty much just a straight upgrade to my Hachimaki. Um, the only thing it doesn't give us much in is defense, but it's also, you know, level 2, so. Also, it... It says it has the light bonus, which I guess means that either I take less light damage or I deal more, or both? I'm kind of shaky on the, like, elemental stuff in this game. The reason we did that right now is that the upgrade recipe is actually the same level, and it takes two gold. Happy ring level up. Like, 80% of the way through this level. Happy ring level up. Skill level increased. Alright, I'm actually out of gold at this point. So I'll need to try to get more tomorrow, as I'm pretty much out of RP in every dungeon at this point, but, you know. That still puts us up to 19%, so pretty much doubled our chances of making it. Alright, Sparkle String. Glitter String, not very strong, but often used for clothes. I'm not going to be shipping the Happy Ring yet. And the other one is the Proof of Heroism, a badge only awarded to those who have obtained undeniable, unwavering strength. Alright, alright! Today is actually Cammy's birthday, so let's get Cammy a gift. Alright, we need to buy a hot chocolate, because I don't feel like making it, I need the energy for other things. Morning, Arya. Kyle's back. Isn't that great, Arya? If there's a, if there's something you don't understand about cooking, how about I teach you? Because I'm really good. Hot chocolate. Oh wow, a birthday present! Thank you! And that puts Cammy up to five with us. Alright, I got a couple gold already. So let's give it a shot. Nice! Happy ring. Happy ring, happy bling. Alright. Not bad thus far. Alright, we're gonna have some rematches. Octopirate, here we go. I've been waiting for you, Aria. Octopirate has re- Octopirate has reappeared. Can you handle it? Octopirate is on Blessy Island. Go take it down. If I were asking an ordinary person, I'd be worried, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, good luck out there. Alright. Octopirate time. Right, let's go! Okay, this guy actually kind of hurts. I doubt this is going to do a lot, but... Yeah, what are we one? Okay, 
Okay, I'm actually in a dangerous spot here, technically. Oh, that actually heals it. That's not good. Okay, always the rule three, right? One more. Okay, and then it starts moving, and I go for the side angle again. And I scrape. Come on, hitboxes. Can't really afford to be hit a bunch. Do anything except for this. The Angie. Problem is, I don't know the last time I saved, and I don't have any kind of food on me. So freaking annoying. And I win, barely. Level up. Ow. I did it! Okay, I'm starting to feel some pain now. Ow. Ow so much. I knew you could do it. I was in wood for a second. I was. Here's your reward. 40,000 G. I don't know how many more super superlatives I can use to describe you, Arya. Alright. That was painful. Alright, now over at the forge, we're gonna take one Rage Fang, one Wolf Fang, one Little Crystal, one Cutlass, one Glue, and one Small Cloth for the level 36 recipe. Durandal. Durandal? However you say it. Durandal, the entire blade glows white, distracting the foe with its beauty. Use that moment to strike. Level 41, er, 41 attack, so definitely not bad. So I need gold to upgrade it, which kind of sucks, but, you know, I'll get some. I'll get some, I'll upgrade this, that way we have an upgraded sword. Alright, um, we're currently done, and as such I want to check this... We don't actually have another event until the 19th, the Dance Festival. So... I think I'm gonna cut it here. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. I'm sorry that these may be short for you. This is taking me two to three hours to just record, not to mention the few hours I spend off-screen. So, 
I hope that makes a bit more sense why it's taking me so long to do everything, but we are making very steady progress. Um, the next time we play, it'll be the 19th and we'll do the dance festival, and I will probably have gathered or made or whatever. I'll have ground up whatever I need to do, and that way we will have more progress. I'll show off what I've been doing, and I hope that you guys are enjoying yourself. We're near the end. Like, we've beaten the game. This is all just cleanup at this point. We're going to make sure everyone ends up happy and, you know, just have a good time. Alright guys, I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye!